In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry bond angles for NH2 minus. So we start with the valid Lewis structure, and we can see we have two hydrogen atoms, and then we have two lone pairs. So we have four things bonded to that central nitrogen. That means our steric number is four, and two of those things are lone pairs. So we have what's called a bent molecular geometry. And we'd expect that the ideal bond angle would be 109.5 degrees probably going to be less. We'll talk about that more later. So we have this bent molecular geometry. Let's see what that looks like in 3D. So the purple will be the central nitrogen atom. We'll add two hydrogen atoms, one, two. You can see they spread out as far as they can from each other, but we've got those two lone pairs. So we add one, and you can see that that lone pair, it forces those hydrogens down. We add one more, and now we have this bent molecular geometry. These two lone pairs have forced the hydrogens down. We would expect that the ideal bond angle would be 109.5, but lone pairs, they'll push down more than other atoms. So these hydrogen atoms are going to be pushed a little bit closer together to give us a smaller bond angle, most likely right around 105 degrees. So NH2 minus, this has a bent molecular geometry. If you wanted to talk about the electron geometry, we have what's called a tetrahedral molecular geometry because we have these four things spread out. Back to our Lewis structure. If you wanted to use the AXE notation for the molecular geometry, A is the central atom, that's the nitrogen. X, that would be the number of atoms attached. We have two hydrogens. And E, that would be the number of lone pairs. We have these two lone pairs here. So E would be two. And if you looked up AX2E2, you'd find that it's a bent molecular geometry. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry and bond angles for NH2 minus. Thanks for watching.